Good morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer. This is Wednesday, October 28th. It's also a holy day. It's the feast day, the holy day for St. Simon and St. Jude Apostles, so that there's a special prayer and a special reading for the second reading today. We begin with the confession of sin found on page 12. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. And we've done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O oh Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent according to your promises declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of your holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The Venite. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the depths of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. We'll now have the readings. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 144. It can be found in the Book of Common Prayer on page 460. Page 460, Psalm 144. We will read responsively by half verse, and I'll begin. Blessed be the Lord, my strength. Who teaches my hands to war and my fingers to fight. My hope and my fortress, my stronghold and deliverer, my defender in whom I trust. Who subdues the peoples under me. O Lord, what is man that you have shown such respect to him? Or the son of man, that you so regard him? Man is like a thing of naught. His time passes away like a shadow. Bow your heavens, O Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains, and they shall smoke. Cast forth your lightning and scatter them. Shoot out your arrows and consume them. Send down your hand from above. Deliver me and take me out of the great waters from the hand of strangers. Whose mouth talks of vain things. And whose right hand is a right hand of falsehood. I will sing a new song unto you, O God. And sing praises unto you upon a ten-stringed lute. You have given victory to kings and have delivered David, your servant, from the peril of the sword. Save me, and deliver me from the hand of strangers. Whose mouth talks of vain things, 
and whose right hand is a right hand of falsehood. That our sons may grow up as young plants. And that our daughters may be as the polished corners of the temple. That our storehouses may be full and plenteous with all manner of grain. That our sheep may bring forth thousands and ten thousands in our fields. That our oxen may be strong to labor, that there be no decaying. No leading into captivity and no outcry in our streets. Happy are the people of whom this is so. Indeed, blessed are the people who have the Lord for their God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. The lesson appointed for today is from the Gospel of John, beginning with the 14th chapter, the 15th verse. A reading from the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. John, beginning with the 14th chapter, the 15th verse. If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper to be with you forever, even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the world will see me no more, but you will see me. Because I live, you also will live. In that day, you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. Whoever has my commandments and keeps them, he it is who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. Judas, not Iscariot, said to him, Lord, how is it that you will manifest yourself to us <clears throat> and not to the world. <clears throat> Jesus answered him, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, and the word that you hear is not mine, but the Father's who sent me. These things I have spoken to you while I am still with you. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I am going away and I will come to you. If you loved me, you would have rejoiced, because I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it takes place, so that when it does take place, you may believe. I will no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming. He has no claim on me, but I do as the Father has commanded me so that the world may know that I love the Father. Rise, let us go from here. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The canticle this morning is the Te Deum Laudamus, which can be found on page 17. Page 17. We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, 
the cherubim and seraphim sing in endless praise, Holy, 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 Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you, Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all praise, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you took our flesh to set us free, you humbly chose the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come to be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us. And grant us your salvation. O oh Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O oh Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O oh Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O oh Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And take not your Holy Spirit from us. Collect for the apostles Simon and Jude. Grant, O God, that as your apostles Simon and Jude were faithful and zealous in their mission, so we may with ardent devotion make known the love and mercy of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A Collect for Grace for Wednesday. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and Everlasting God, you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Defend us by your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin, nor run into any danger, and that, guided by your Spirit, we may do what is righteous in your sight through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now is a time for intercession and thanksgiving. Lord, I lift up Christ the King Church. I ask that your Holy Spirit descend on the congregation to fill us with your zealous and 
holy word as well as action, just as the apostles, the apostles and disciples were filled with your Holy Spirit. I ask that we have ears to hear and that we have wisdom to know how to act upon what we hear. I lift up the congregation that is scattered and not able to come to, to church. I ask that those who are in nursing homes or shut in because of illness or age, that they be lifted to where they, they don't feel the, the stresses, the stress of not going out, the stress and boredom of what to do with their day. Father, it's, it's so hard to suddenly be restricted and it's been so many months. Father, give us a renewal, a renewal for your word during this time, a renewal to know how to reach out. Um, show us, show us your will and our way to walk. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord, I, I join Rita's prayer for our church and for our church family, especially that those who are weary of this long COVID-19 and are feeling fearful or angry um, <clears throat> that you will let yourself be known that your presence close by their side will be clear to them that they will feel hopeful and a sense of joy instead of feeling weariness and fear um, for we know, Lord, that you are right by our side, that you encourage us, that you sent us, as we heard today in the reading, you sent us the Holy Spirit to be our encourager and to give us guidance and strength and courage. And so help us, Lord, to be aware of that, to see it, and to follow it. All these things we ask in your name. Lord, we continue to pray for newcomers to Christ the King. We ask, Lord, you to bless them. We pray for uh, some new faces as well. Even during COVID, uh, your uh, spirit is still active and, and moving in the hearts of people in our area. We pray those who are seeking you in this time of uncertainty may find you and that they find a church family that can support them in their walk with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The General Thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we are unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your measurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ and the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen.